MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh. Stepping up now, number four. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the here comes the first pitch. The center fielder. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. 135. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Batting second. The left fielder, number 33. So now to the plate, Jesse Winker. He'll oh, take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Looking to get something to the right side with that leadoff man at second to start the ball game. Pulled toward right center field. Reynolds is on the move for it, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And the run will score as the Reds strike first to lead it 1-0. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto, as he'll take a look at ball one. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. In now, Eugenio Suarez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Here now the 2-2. is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Striding in, Mike Moustakis. And now the Reds look to push more across the plate in the opening frame. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He's just two for 12. Even one and one count to Mustakis. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game. Now the 2 1 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 2 0 ball game. The right viewer. Number 44. At the plate, Aristides Aquino. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 0. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball 2. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top. But he was able to lay off it. Newman backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now at the plate, Derek Dietrich. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. First pitch coming. Here it is. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. And it's fouled away. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Swing and a miss got him reaching. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is. So striding forward now, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball one and zero. Oh. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Before the first pitch, a check at first. And they got him. So here's Adam Frazier. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. One out, nobody on. And another foul ball.
That's a ball. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Fouled off. The next one-two pitch. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Batting Digging in, Brian Reynolds. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, look at Moustakis. It's in time. Now at the plate, Tucker Barnhart. They'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he fouls this one off. A 1-1. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Fouled away. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Trevor Bauer. Here comes the first pitch. Bauer. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. One and two, the count to the Reds pitcher. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Coming to the plate now, number four. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Two balls and a strike. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this. So coming to the plate, Josh Bell. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. And that misses for ball one. Lifted the other way out to left center. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Right there for strike one. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses ball one. A ball and a strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. One and two now. And there are two away now. Up next for the Buckos, Jason Martin. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Strike one to start the at bat. Line drive to center field. And he'll reach down to make the play on the run. A fine defensive effort there retires the side. In now for the Reds, Jesse Winker. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Here it comes. Okay. 
Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at-bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at-bat. Ball three. Three and two now. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now, a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. In is Joey Votto now. First pitch of the at bat. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Check swing. No swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. Eugenio Suarez will be next. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch fouled off. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Well. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. Into the box, Mike Moustakis. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. The 1-1 one -one home. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Suarez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Still two and two. Hit hard up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. The back, number 44. Standing in now, Aristides Aquino. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. One and two now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Fielded cleanly on to first, and the Reds rally comes up short here as that. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. First pitch is a circle change for a called strike one. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Stallings originally hails from Kansas. He was selected in the seventh round during the first-year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Joe Musgrove comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Count now a ball and a strike. Line to the right side, but good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. First offering on its way. Kevin Newman is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. Mustakis is there. Throw on to Vada will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Ready now, Derek Dietrich. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. 
And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Tucker Barnhart is on deck. Squared that one up just a little late. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Now back. Stepping into the box, Tucker Barnhart. Over one after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. One ball, no strikes to count. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. As a look, now the pitch. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Stephen Brault answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. First pitch of the at-bat. And they indeed want the pitcher to move his runners as he puts this one down. On to first, and how about that? He comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play ball with one pitch. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, number four. One for two with a double on his line thus far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Here's a moment where you've got to be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like, single, gaffer, homer, just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated again. Well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Lays off the circle change there. A ball and a strike. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Fly ball out toward left center field. Winker, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Into the box now, Brian Reynolds. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 0 and 1 the count. Line toward right center. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. Powers ready. Here's the first pitch. Josh Bell will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. A count of one and one to the Pirates' first baseman. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Grounded down the third baseline. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in once again, Jesse Winker. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first down. 
Into the box now, Joey Votto. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Changeup stays outside and is behind 2-0. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that is through into right field for a single. The battle. The football. And the plate now. Eugenio Suarez popped him up. Bell takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Two gone in the Cincinnati the fifth. Better. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakas. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's out. That's wide, 2-0. Popped up. Stallings shading to his right. And that ends the inning. Standing in, Colin Moran. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the 8th or ninth inning. Polanco, or El Café, as he's sometimes referred to. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. Behind 0-2 now. And he fouls this one off. Now another 0-2. Oh. I got to count one and two. He takes three. strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Up next to the party. Settling in now, oh, Jason yeah. Martin. Yeah. Both for yeah. one for him here in this one. Oh, yeah. Ball one. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Not close. It's 2-0. and Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. A 3-1 count to the left fielder of the Bucks. Fastball in there, 3-2. and two. Fell behind early in this one, 3-0, and has battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. All even now, two and two. Bauer pauses. Here's the pitch. Hit back toward the mound. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Jose Osuna will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Fastball in there for a called strike. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Robbie Ehrman is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Top half of the sixth about to get started, so digging in now, Aristides Aquino. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Digging in, Derek Dietrich. It was a walk in his last trip. Nick Senzel will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now batter. The catcher. To the plate now. Tucker oh. Barnhart. will swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. 
grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Runners on the move for second. Got him swinging the throw. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. Ready now for Cincinnati. Trevor Bauer. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. 3-0 to him now. From the stretch. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Kevin Newman is working on a one for two game so far. Throws in time and that's out number one. Digging in, Adam Frazier. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Line towards center field. Number four is there and he'll bring this one in. Ready once again, Brian Reynolds. First pitch on its way. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Line towards center field, and Reynolds has himself a base hit. So the two out hit keeps the inning hot and brings in Josh Bell. And he'll get in there safely. Josh Bell the next to hit as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one he's one for two in this one and he takes strike two swing and a liner and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over at the plate number four he went down on strikes last time up yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first out. At the plate, Jesse Winker. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Standing in, Joey Votto. He's two for three thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Like that pitch there, lefty on lefty matchup. Curve ball away to a lefty. Smart pitch. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. Started the chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. So it's a runner at first with two men out and into the batter's box next a guy who's developed into one of the big time power hitters in the league a Eugenio Suarez who pulled the string and had him way out in front a ball and a strike two and one three balls and a strike to the shortstop of the Reds. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He And we'll have to leave it there. The Stepping in and ready for another shot, Colin Moran. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. No balls in one strike. Fouled away. On its way is pitch number 75. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Here's Gregory Polanco. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. High in the air out to center field. 
Number four is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now to the plate, Jason Martin. It was a walk in his last trip. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. And it's one and two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. A 2 2 one more time. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he is in to third with a two out triple. In now, Jacob Stalin. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Sent on the ground out to second, fielded by Mustakis. And they'll escape danger here after the two out triple as the inning is over. Richard Rodriguez will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Gerard Dyson will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Now a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says third base umpire Ricky Holiday. Ball one. Check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. In now, Aristides Aquino. He was a ground out victim last time up. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Ready with the 0-2. One ball, two strikes, down. Two runs, eight hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And it's fouled away. This is hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is Dyson. And it's gone as they add still another. Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for error, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. So now to the plate, Nick Senzel. Third baseman. As he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. And it's one and one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Two and two. The 2-2. Two, two. Tucker Barnhart waits on deck. He loses him on ball four. Digging in the switch now hitter, back. Tucker Barnhart. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch on its way. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. And he just manages to get his hand in. The 1 0 home. Line drive to left. Dyson is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Stepping in, Trevor Bauer. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the first pitch to him. Lays off 1 0. Oh. 
Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Has a look now the pitch. And able to lay off the fastball away here two and one now. Hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work but I like the idea behind it. Ball even at two and two. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Here's Gerard Dyson and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. A called strike to the 35 year old veteran. Nothing in one. Waved at and missed and he's behind 0 2. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count could be something they have to think about right to him and an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away wow stepping into the box Kevin Newman he was retired via the ground ball last time up and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one hit back up the middle a dive but he can't knock it down it's through for a base hit. Into the box, Adam Frazier. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Newman blows through the stop sign, headed for home. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, and not in time as the run scores. Now time is called, and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Michael Lorenzen answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Number 21, Michael Lorenzen. Stepping in now, Brian Reynolds, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. So that'll bring up Josh Bell as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he falls behind 0-2. Fouled off. Ready with another 0-2. Hard ground ball to third. Senzel fields it cleanly. And that's the second out. Riding into the box, Colin Moran, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Reynolds heads for the plate. And he's safe at the plate. We are knotted at three. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Still no balls and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there. A ball and two strikes. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this... Michael Feliz will come on to pitch here and he'll move into the number five spot in the lineup now on the double switch. Eric Gonzalez will also enter as a part of the double switch as he'll hit in the seven hold in the lineup. First pitch of the at bat down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready for another shot now. Jesse Winker. He flew out in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. 
Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. and oh. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. 2-0 and oh now. And now pitch on the way. Ball Never three. tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. Swing and a miss as he was way early on that one, three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup or do you stay with the heater? The first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. Digging in now, Joey Votto. is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Nicholas Castellanos will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Here's the first pitch. Fastball well outside. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Newman fields it cleanly. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Digging in to try it again. Eugenio Suarez hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Here's the first pitch. Oh, Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. The 1 0. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. We strike two on a fastball right down the middle. Now the one and two pitch. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. It's out of here, and they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. Hey, with one swing of the bat, that closer better get ready. He's going to be doing some work in the bottom half of this inning. Nick Birdie enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Number 57. At the plate now, Mike Mustakis. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Into the box now, Aristides Aquino. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. And they did damage with it. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. The third baseman, Nick from there. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. 0 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. One ball. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. The one and two pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Stepping up to the plate, Tucker Barnhart. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. Count one and zero. One and one to Tucker Barnhart. One and one. Four runs here in this half inning. 
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Line drive to center field. Reynolds is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Leading off the inning, Eric Gonzalez. And they'll need him to get something going here. Pedro Stroke will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Now here's the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2-0 as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. 3-1 the count now. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. Now Into the box. Jacob Stallings. Kicker. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Fouled away. And that is swung on and missed. And things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Weak grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball here, 0-1. And now pitch on the way. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. And it's fouled away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. to three. The Reds came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Michael Lorenzen claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.